Hi, my name is Oli Lakashna and I'm an Associate Solutions Architect on the DMB team here at Databricks. And today, I'm very excited to talk to you about how Databricks and DBT, the data build tool, can be used together to simplify your data stack. The DBT Databricks adapter enables data analysts to build, test, and deploy models on Delta Lake, all within the same Lakehouse platform trusted by their data engineering and data science counterparts. DBT is a development environment that makes transformations in the lake house very easy by allowing analysts to simply write SQL select statements. DBT then compiles your select statements into raw SQL and runs that code on the designated database in Databricks. Databricks handles the storage and processing of the data. Databricks can connect to both DBT Core, the command line interface, and DBT Cloud, the integrated development environment. In this video, we will focus on connecting to DBT Cloud. Let's begin. DBT Cloud is the easiest and most reliable way to develop and deploy a DBT project. Recently, it was announced that the DBT Cloud and Databricks integration experience is getting even better. The integration is incredibly easy to set up, has better defaults, and supports Unity Catalog. The DBT Databricks adapter allows users to merge for incremental models, defaults to the Delta format, and can run queries using Photon. The Unity Catalog allows Databricks users to centrally manage all data assets, significantly simplifying data governance and management. There are two ways to connect DBT Cloud and Databricks. The first option is Partner Connect, which provides a streamlined setup to create your DBT Cloud account. The second option is to create your DBT Cloud account separately and then build the Databricks connection yourself. We strongly recommend using the Partner Connect functionality. In order to use Partner Connect, Go to the Databricks workspace and on the left side console, click on Partner Connect. Select the DBT tile under Data Preparation and Transformation. Click on Next when prompted to connect to Partner. Now, select your SQL warehouse and choose the schemas that you want to use with DBT Cloud. DBT Cloud requires the same catalog is used for reading and writing data. Click Next twice. This action will create a service principal, pad token for that service principal, and a SQL endpoint for DBT Cloud account to use. Databricks has successfully created the resources to connect to DBT Cloud. You can also view the connection details. Now, click on Connect to DBT Cloud. If you already have a DBT Cloud account, you will be asked to log in. If you haven't created an account, you will be asked to create a free company account. You will be logged into DBT Cloud automatically. I already have an account, so I have logged into DBT Cloud. Partner Connect provides you with a managed repository, so you do not need to initialize your DBT project. You can now build your DBT project. DBT provides a centralized environment for collaborative development. You can write transformation code with SQL, create documentation, write tests, and deploy your own version control code using CI-CD best practices. Inside of my DBT project, I've declared a new data source. I have also defined the tables and columns in the data set. As you can see, I have given the tables and columns some descriptions and applied some tests to the columns. After declaring the data source, I've created several DBT models, which are just very simple select statements. When executed against Databricks, DBT will compile the code and write the correct DTL and DML for you. For example, I can create a very simple select statement to clean up some data about stores. I can see in the lineage below that this model is just a subset of the store data set. Now that we have written and transformed queries in DBT, we can find the transformed data in the lake house. Here's the clean store data we just saw in DBT. We can do some exploratory data analysis on it. It is very easy to develop visualizations using DB SQL and turn them into interactive dashboards. Each dashboard can have many different panels. Databricks supports several different types of visualizations such as various charts, histograms, maps, pivot tables, counters, and many others. We can click on each visualization to see the query behind it. Clicking on View Query brings us to the interactive query editor where I can modify the query in any way. I can set a refresh schedule and share it with other users. I can also look at all of the queries that have been previously run against DB SQL. For each individual query, I can view the query profiler to gain even more insight. As we have seen in this quick demo, the DBT and Databricks integration makes transformations in Lakehouse incredibly simple and allows for the entire data team to work together on the same platform.